Thanks for joining us. I'm Natasha Williams. These are your top headlines. Police are still searching for a couple who disappeared after being questioned about two missing children in Rexburg. Now their mother is defending herself. An attorney for Lori Vallow calls her, calls her a devoted mother who represents assertions to the contrary. Vallow and her husband, Chad Daybell, are wanted for questioning in a suspicious death case. Vallow's 17-year-old daughter, Tylee, and 17-year-old jo son, Joshua, haven't been seen since September. Just a few weeks before Daybell's first wife, Tammy, died of what was thought to be natural causes. But after her body was exhumed earlier this month, police say it's now being called suspicious. Investigators say community members who knew Daybell never expected this case. Most of them are quite shocked. Uh, thought very highly of them. Um, they're concerned. Uh, quite a lot of quite a sense of disbelief that something like this could have happened. Rexburg police believe the children may be in danger, but they don't believe the couple had the kids with them when they left town. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office says it's still waiting for an autopsy on Tammy Daybell. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norval with the On Your Side forecast. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a little chilly outside, but you would expect that, right? Uh, the 26th of December, we're getting to that right at the core of the cold air, uh, which comes towards the latter part of December, first part of January, the coldest time of the season. It's still 40 in Ontario, but look at Twin Falls, 26 degrees. So it is colder the further east you go into the mountains. Uh, temperatures are cold. If you've got snow on the ground, you definitely notice the cold weather outside as it has settled on in. And we've had those persistent little flurries. Low clouds have formed over the valley and little weak disturbances or some unsettled air aloft is causing uh, what we call cedar feeder clouds. In other words, it's uh, little clouds that would sit a little precipitation down that normally wouldn't reach the ground, then goes into the other clouds and seeds those clouds uh, naturally, and then it causes a few snow flurries to fall. So, or even just some unstable air aloft will cause that to happen. Bottom line is we're getting some snow flurries around. No storms nearby. However, that will change here just a little bit. Generally dry, a little disturbance to the west and some snow in northern Utah. We look at the forecast here and the future cast does show some light snow pushing into central portions of Idaho and also down to the southeast as well. This will be as we head towards Friday night into Saturday. So the interstate east of Twin Falls could get some snow. Here's a quick check of that extended forecast and chilly mid 30s, generally dry with a few flurries Friday, possibly Saturday, light snow possible Sunday. And then as we head towards the uh, beginning of next week, maybe on Wednesday and Thursday, some more rain and snow moving back on in. I'll keep you updated on the chances for the snow coming up. We'll have another update right here coming up shortly.